So it's been a long time, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really sorry, but we're back, and uh, I'm back, and the Savoy Empire is back, at least as of the next few seconds. Well, maybe I should say the next few minutes, because as soon as I get out of this war with Morocco, uh, we're going to be able to form Sardinia Piedmont, and I've been trying to form them for quite a long time now. I wanted to see that beautiful blue color and see what it looks like with this kind of graphical improvements, you know, look uh, to it, the mod that I'm using to make the, you know, the graphics look a little bit better. Uh, we're going to have to take out these guys, because they're blue also, and, and we should be the only blue nation in the heart of Western Europe. But uh, anyways, yes, I took some time off. I took about almost 50 years off. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, we're gonna continue on with this campaign, and we'll see how it goes. I mean, we'll see how the views goes. We'll see how many uh, guys want to, how many, how many of you guys uh, are still enjoying this campaign. And uh, if if you if you are, then we will continue to press through it. Um, if it seems like people aren't as excited to, to rewatch it, then uh, I'll probably do like a maybe. I'll probably fast forward a little bit, and and I'll finish the campaign. We'll, we'll we'll fast forward to the end, and I'll show you guys what the empire looks like. But over the break, over this long, long break, uh, like I said, I took off 50 turns, and pretty much the only person I really declared war on here was Aragon. As you can see, I took a lot of their land, and I pretty much control a lot of their islands now. I, I, I grabbed a hold of Sardinia. Um, and the only thing that, that kind of sucks, because like I said, I went to, I just, pretty much the only thing I did is declared war on Aragon twice, uh, and then I, you know, I annexed my, my vassals over this way. Now, the only thing that really sucks is Austria somehow got a hold inside of Sicily. That's really, really bad. Um, and I don't know exactly how I'm going to counteract that. I kind of need that ally of Austria. Um, now, right now, I, I have I have two allies, and it's Denmark, Austria. Actually, I'm sorry, I have three allies, and Portugal. Uh, currently, I'm involved with Portugal. They declared an offensive war against Morocco. Seems uh, like a smart idea. I'm not sure exactly what it was for. Um, it looks like it was for wherever this is. T A. And G. Let's see where that's at. I'm guessing Northern Africa. Are they trying to make their own? They are. Wow. Ballsy move by Portugal. I'm impressed. So I'm helping them out. I'm not really doing anything. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I decided to join in because Portugal is controlling almost all of Iberia. And, you know, things are going to start getting tense because we are going to start to border each other. And uh, eventually I would like to declare a third war uh, of it for Aragon. And that's actually going to happen maybe in the next year. Uh, in terms of aggressive expansion, I let a lot of it tick down. Uh, I mean, obviously, Aragon's not going to like me very much. So there are a few wars that I really want to go... I want. There's a few countries that I want to go after. Uh, first of all, Great Britain is one, but I can't really do it. I mean, well, let's talk about the nations that first I can't go to war with. Um, pretty much the other blue nation. Um, we can't go to war with them because they're allied to Great Britain and Portugal. Uh, I can't really go to war with the... Uh, I can't really go to war with the Papal State right now. I guess I could... It's just that they're calling in like a bunch of allies. And I know that, you know, these are all small nations, but still that would add up. And it would be difficult to kind of counteract that sort of thing. Uh, right now, Austria is not willing to help us out. And if, if Austria is not willing to help with a, a, with a war against the Pope, then I'm not going to do it. Um, the only, so there's, there's a few wars, there's a few countries that I can go to war with. Uh, one can be Burgundy. Burgundy is significantly weaker. And actually, do they even control the HRE anymore? They do. Somehow, uh, the Burgundian leader still has the, emperor, the emperor's crown. Uh, in this country, so they're doing okay, but again, they've been eaten up quite a bit by a few of these nations. Bacardi is over here. That looks kind of like uh, the Pope's. That's a similar color. So I can go to war with Switzerland, and that's kind of what I'm leaning towards, is, is a Switzerland war. I guess I could go for Lorraine. They're allied to Holland, Saxony, Bohemia. Bohemia is not doing amazingly. Uh, in terms of people that you know have rivaled me, the Ottomans, Lithuania, Great Britain, that's about it. Oh, Russia, Lithu Lithuania. Oh, we talked about Lithuania. I just said that, Drew. What, what's going on? Uh, let's look at this. Let me look at exactly who are my enemies. Great Britain, Lithuania, Russia, and the Ottomans. So no one, like, super close to me, so it's not that bad. I have rivaled back Lithuania and the Ottomans just because I didn't know if I was going to want to step on Great Britain's toes already. Seems kind of early for that, but we'll see. Uh, I think I might wait until Portugal pieces out here before I declare my own war, but I guess I don't have to. It, okay, well, you know what? If Austria's willing to join in and Burgundy's not going to join in, then I think I need to do this. The, Pal uh, the Palatinate and Ravensburg, we should be able to do that with Austria and Denmark's help. And Denmark's not bad. Den Denmark's got control. They annexed Sweden somehow. Uh, we knew about that, though. And, uh, okay, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and declare war on these guys And because I got nothing else to do. And my aggressive expansion is ticked down by quite a bit. Oh, I don't have a claim just yet. Uh-oh. Okay, well, let's make sure that we get a claim. I have been making making sure that I get claims up over the last qu the course of the last decade. That way, I can you know have a few choices. Obviously, this is one that I I didn't get a claim up, but 
but I'm, I believe I've got claims on a lot of other nations. So just in case I need to rush into a war, I can go ahead and do that. Um, yeah. Okay, well, hopefully that doesn't change. I'm really, really hoping that doesn't change because that's way too perfect without Burgundy joining on Switzerland's side and Austria joining on our side. Now, I believe that Austria, yes, Austria is at war with the Ottomans right now, so they probably won't be able to contribute that much, but just, you know, kind of ha having there for, you know, having them there for that extra, you know, it's moral support. It's moral support. It's all it's, all it's about. That's all it's, what it's about. Uh, in terms of, you know, technology, I'm doing okay, except for diplomatic technology, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, and I'm doing pretty good with my navy as well. I've got a stack of 54 ships, uh, galleys, light ships, transport ships, no heavy ships, because they cost too much. And my economy's doing okay, but actually now that I check on it, I'm in the negatives, weirdly enough. Uh, land leader maneuver. Uh, I think I'm going to stay off of, yeah, we're going to stay off of ideas for now. Uh, rebel uprisings. We've been destroying rebels also, nothing, no big deal. Can't do anything with the national decisions until I get out of this war. Uh, are there any missions that I might want to take? I can improve with somebody. Uh, where is that that you want me to... What what province is that that you want me to take over here? Okay, I might end up taking that later, but not right now. And then who is this nation you want me to improve with? Oh, oh, did they just... Uh, they feel threatened, so I'm not sure if they're going to allow me to vassalize them. I can definitely, obviously, offer them an alliance, but uh, yeah... Oh, they're a member of the Empire. That's a huge negative modifier. I guess I could improve relations with them, get it to 100. I could probably get it to 100, but I'm going to keep it there. I, I don't want to take a risk and, you know, having to cancel that mission, you know, taking two or three years off of not having any missions. Nah, it's fine. I'm not worried about it. Okay, cool. so clearly there's a big-ass war going on. I don't know where it's where it's going on, but let's see, what, let's see where it's at. What do we got? Where's it at? Okay, it's kind of in the Netherlands region. We're going to leave that alone. I'm not going to really do anything. I've got plenty of diplomatic slots open, three out of five. It's just my alliances because I have annexed all of my vassals, so that's good. Uh, yes, of course, I have tried with Sicily to offer them vassalization. They, they're not up for it yet. I only have 30 in the positive, 71 in the negative, so I'm not exactly too sure if they're going to be down to, for that sort of thing. I don't know. We'll have to keep an eye on that. I am kind of keep an eye, keeping an eye on just kind of all the nations, I guess, that have about one province, two provinces. I'm very, I'm actually really close to being able to vassalize um, Venice, and that would be really cool. Although Venice, I mean, it'd just be interesting to see a vassalization of Venice there. I guess I can send over an improvement. Now, who am I improving with right now? I am improving with Sicily still, just to see, just to see where it gets me. Uh, we'll see when this fabrication is done. I don't think Austria's going to want to join after the fabrication is over, but that's fine. Got a bunch of ducats, so of course I've been paying all sorts of ducats. How is Portugal doing? They've made a landing here. Oh, they have Great Britain's help. You should be able to do that, Portugal. Come on. You control all of... You're not even doing anything. you got 42 stack right here, just, just sitting there. What is going on with that? What's going on with that? That's weird. Oh, I'm suffering from attrition. Let's move that away. Uh, let's not suffer from attrition, Drew. And uh, in terms of generals, how are we doing? I'm almost at my force limit. I'm over my naval force limit. That's why I'm not making very much money. Uh, well, I know that I have one ship that I'm not doing anything with. Let's go ahead and definitely uh, kill this guy. I kind of like being over my naval force limit. I liked, I want to be a dominant power in the Mediterranean. I know that the Ottomans have a pretty big navy, of course. I'm sure the Mamluks do as well. Probably not as big as because you know the Ottomans have taken away some, some provinces, some coastal provinces. But uh, let's also prepare ourselves because I think we're going to go to war with Switzerland no matter what. Um, how is our king? I didn't even show you guys my king. My king's a 234. He's age 23. The heir is 522. He's age 10, so he's not of age yet. Uh, but let's go ahead and put my king as... Oh, nice. Nice. Four shock. I like that. Okay. We'll put him in the battle here. We'll, we'll, we'll get him ready for battle. Uh, I don't mind... If I'm a regency... If I'm in a regency, that's, that's cool. Yeah, my 54... That's another reason why I'm keeping my, my navy at a, at a high spot, because I know that I'm at war with the North African nations. Uh, I believe Tunis is involved here, too. Oh, my gosh, all of them, even the Mamluks. So, yeah, it is good to have that kind of... Um, that huge uh, navy that I have in the Mediterranean. Oh, good, good. It's still the same thing. We got really lucky. I didn't think that was going to happen. So Austria and Denmark are still willing to join. Let's go ahead and go to war after Switzerland. Now, they are a part of the HRE, so uh, that could be a problem if I take too much away. Although I'm just stepping on Burgundy's toes, so it doesn't really matter. And I'm sure Burgundy's going to probably lose that spot. They're going to lose that vote really soon. Oh, definitely. Dang, look at that. It's split. No one is really voting for Burgundy anymore. I'm not sure exactly when the next vote is, but it looks like Bavaria... No, Saxony is going to be the new uh, HRE member. 
So that's cool because I'm allied to, to, you know, I'm allied to Austria and I don't want them to be the emperor. So I'm sorry, HRE member. They're already an HRE member. The emperor, I guess I mean. Okay, so let's go ahead and walk through these guys. We're going we're gonna to cross the river. That's fine. We're going to be fighting in the mountains, but we have double the units, the regiments here. Um, I think I, oh, let's also make sure that we take that 12 stack off Corsica. Uh, okay. So boom, we should be fine. Uh oh, there's an 8 stack coming. Are we going to make it there in time? I hope so. Here, let's go this way. Let's just make sure. How are we doing? I know that we're getting... Oh, we didn't get a, we didn't get a crossing penalty. That's perfect. Uh, the maneuver general helped us because they had a... Oh, wait a second. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, wait. They just brought in a new leader. I get you. I was getting really confused there. I thought I had this game down. What the heck? No, we're good now. Okay, good. Okay, so let's... Uh, let's First of all, let's make sure that we stack wipe the 15 stack. Oh, where are they going? Uh, remember that Raves, Rave, Ravensburg is involved in this war, so we got to keep in mind that... Okay, so he's just running off. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of combine these guys, split them up. That way we probably have... Uh, I'm hoping we'll have, like, kind of a... Well, you know, army a good army composition. I'm hoping. We'll see. Uh, you guys got to go all the way around. Oh, here, you know what? I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to go through Austria's territory. That'll be nice. Um, we'll see how much, I don't know exactly how much I'm going to take here. I just wanted to go to war with somebody, because it's been a while, it's been a few years. Oh, Great Britain has separate peace from Morocco. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Portugal. You better watch it there. Also, you better not let make me mo lose my, my navy. Oh, we need to continue. Wait, 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 before I do that, there was something I needed to do, I needed to do that was really crucial. Um, or besides get that technology, because that was probably sitting there for a while. I need to make sure that I split up my fleet to separate them, separate my transport ships. These guys are pretty important. They don't need to be in the, the trade fleet. No, they don't. They can hide in G Genoa. The light ships and the galleys. Oh, wait a second. I still have more, don't I? Where are these guys at? Oh, because I, I think these are these are new ones. Oh, oh, okay. Select that. You guys go over here, too. And the 40 stack will continue to... Because uh, I don't think... I mean, the transport ships aren't really helping out that much uh, in battles in the Mediterranean. So it's no big deal. And we're about to get 100% religious unity in about 43 months. Still can't grab this. I'm not really embracing the counter-reform. I guess I could. It doesn't really matter now. I wasn't sure back when we uh, kind of put this campaign on hiatus. Now I'm obviously pretty sure that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want to stay Catholic. I didn't know how hard Protestantism and reform was going to hit. But uh, it's not that bad. I mean, because what are the results of this? Oh, that's why I didn't want to take it. I didn't want technology costs to go up as well as idea costs. So we don't really need the counter reformation. If we re if it was going to hit hard, then I would have taken it, but it's it's not. So that's good. Okay. So um, nothing. No, no missions yet. That's fine. Still making how much money am I? I, I? I'm fine with being in a deficit for a little bit. The Papal States has now declared war on the Ottomans. This is probably a good time. Oh, the Ottomans are getting their butt kicked by Austria. Well, that's good and bad. I'd actually rather Austria get their own butt kit kicked by uh by the ottomans that's i because you know the ottomans aren't really a big threat to us i'm not worried about it i'm not really worried about them at all okay wait a second we got to get a leader here and this guy has no fire but that's okay his mixtape is not fire that's what i'm trying to say um there's a 34 stack wait a second holy crap whoa 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 when did that happen when did you guys get up that big of an army that's not supposed to happen okay well hopefully we fight a defensive war in the mountains whenever they come they're coming for us right now. We're about to get a hold of a fort. Oh, you know what? They might be too preoccupied with going after Austria. That's why we've gotten so lucky so far, I think. Well, coming after us, bro. I'm cool. We can do this. I'm watching you. I'll send the 12 stack over if we need to. I don't know if, who you're going to attack now. Um, okay, we're going to suffer from quite a bit of attrition. Oh, it's also winter time. Okay, come on, you can do it. Well, take down... The oh, yeah, nice. Austria has helped us out quite a bit. Let's take down these forts. We'll go after Ra uh, Raves Ravensburg. Actually, let's go after it right now. So we don't have to worry about this huge army here. They've gotten pushed back. Good job, Austria. Thank you. And this is good that we called them into the war, so that, mean that means that they're not going to focus so heavily in the uh, the Balkans area where the Ottomans control. Because, you know, if they grabbed more sieges in this region, they would be more inclined to maybe take more away from the Ottomans in terms of provinces. And I don't want them to take that much. I want them to stay kind of the size that they are. Because uh, I don't want them to get... Because we bordered the Austrians. I don't want to have, like, a, a super powerful foe uh, just off into the east. I mean, I'm not... They're probably still stronger than I am at, at the moment. So I'm worried about that. 
There are a lot of nations. Luckily, I'm allied to a lot of the nations that are pretty powerful, Austria and Portugal being two of them. Uh, not allied to Great Britain. Great Britain does not like me. Uh, but still, it is nice that at least among the most powerful nations, I'm allied to two of them. Denmark's not that powerful. I just kind of have that alliance. I don't really know why I have that alliance. I should probably break that. Because what is Denmark really going to do? Uh, Denmark is always, I would say... In, in EU4, in EU4 in general, not in all games, but in EU4, because these provinces are just not very good in base tax and they don't have that much manpower, Denmark's are always pretty overrated, as well as Scandinavia in general. This, not Sweden. Sweden's good. Uh, and I'm, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about, the, I'm just saying like any country that controls this entire region, the Scandinavian region, usually doesn't have as much power as you'd think. They have this huge fund. You're like, oh God, I'm so scared. I always allied to these guys, but they ever never end up doing that much. They've got a good Navy and it's really good Navy to counteract Great Britain. But in terms of army sizes, they don't really have that much. Look, we only, I mean, we could probably, this is probably not their entire regiment, their entire army, but they only have a seven stack here. I don't see anything else. So I'm just saying, oh, there's a, there's a 23 stack, but still you would think it'd be a little bit more. I'm about the same size, and I have, like, almost, what, 70 regiments, something like that? I don't know. Something like that. Okay, so how are we doing here? We're at 72%. I don't know where the Palpatine are at, and I don't even care. Oh, they're already sieged out. Why don't we have 100%? Wait a sec. Oh, because the rest of them over here. Should I let that go? I don't I don't really want to. I don't really need that. I don't want to suffer for more attrition. It's fine. No big deal. Okay, so Ravensburg wants a... I didn't call a co-belligerent. What can I get from these guys? I mean, they're kind of far away, and I don't know if I'm going to be... I'm going to leave it there for now. What I could do if I wanted to, I don't think I want to. I could grab this province from Switzerland, grab this province from Ravensburg, Ravensburg, and then boom, we're good. But, because that way I wouldn't get a... You know, I'd be able to core that land. Because I don't think I'd be able to core it if I just take this and not anything else. I, I need to be touching a core. The cores have to be touched. Something like that. I don't know. Something like... It needs to be touching like an unblockaded... Co core something. I'm not 100%. Oh, technology. Okay, let's grab this. Um, good. Good to see that my administrative and military is back on top. Morocco has offered a peace deal. What is this? Nope. I'm not going to mess with Portugal. And when Portugal pieces out, that's when I'll peace out. I'm going to be a good buddy today. I'm going to be a good friend. Losing a lot more money. That's okay. Lost a little bit of manpower. I was at my max manpower for a little bit. We've got to go to work the papal, uh, with the papal state soon. Oh, yeah, Austria's still pushing. Oh, good, the, the Ottomans are coming back. Good, I'm glad. We'll grab a little bit of inflation, no big deal. I don't think I have any access to gold at the moment. Uh, royal marriage with Portugal has ended. I think I'll wait for them to offer me that. And uh, this is actually really good. I think I'm going to stay in this war for a little bit because Austria's distracted going up north here. And uh, I'd like the Ottomans to unseige some of the stuff that Austria controls. They should. Because this seems to be a fort. They'll probably unseige. Oh, there, there's a, another fort here. Oh, there's actually quite a bit of forts. Okay, up north there's less forts. All right, Ottomans, I'm rooting for you, buddy. Even though you're you're my rival, still rooting for you. How am I, how am I doing in war exhaustion? Still under one as of right now, so not a huge deal. I'm not 99 war score, though. Let's go to Switzerland and see. Just Let's just see. What, what are you willing to give me? I don't really want to take that much. You're willing to give me one province. Um, I don't even know if that's like a good province to take. I mean, how, how is development here? 18, okay, 18 development there. So this seems to be the better province. I might try to grab these two out on the outside. Do I want these guys? 19 development. How much would that cost me in terms of uh, aggressive expansion and overextension? If I were to take both of these, that's 26 overextension. Uh, 10, this aggressive expansion is always off, but it seems like it, not too many people are going to care if I take over Switzerland. Because in the region, it's pretty much just me and Austria. So yeah, obviously people are like, I don't really care. That's far away. Uh, let's let's see if we were to fully annex Ravensburg, though. I'm, I imagine that people are not going to be happy about that. Um, 19 over overextension. And pretty a lot of aggressive expansion, main, mainly from the HRE. But nobody too significant. And I don't think these guys already have. They I don't think they have much aggressive expansion. Well, here's the thing. It's going to it's gonna stack, though. Ah, see, I don't know about that. Maybe, you know what? What if I, va if I was going to, va well, if I vassalize them, then I'm still going to get that aggressive expansion, I believe. Savoy vassal. No, I get much less. If Yeah, you can be my vassal. I, I love vassals. I'll take, uh, yeah, you know what? I'll take vassals for 200. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I have no idea why I said that. Okay, I'll take all your money, and I'll, I'll, I'll take, your, take you as a vassal. Uh, is there anything we can do for the... Palatinate, can you give me, offer me anything at all? Suggest. 
I mean, I'm down for money. I'm down for, like, war reparations. You know, I will do whatever. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll take the war reparations then. Cool. And then, uh, like I said here, we're just going to take two provinces away from Switzerland. Don't want to take too much more because I feel like if I take any more, I I'm going to be pushing my luck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's too much. Two is, two is not that bad. Well, the HRE is not going to be happy. That's for sure. Let's see here. How are we looking? Bavaria. Oh, the HRE is already not very happy. It makes sense. All right, well, I'm going to wait till next time. We'll, we'll do it in the next episode. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy uh, are enjoying this series as a comeback. And, and uh, now that it's off of hiatus, I'm having a fun time because it is a pretty interesting campaign here. I'm in the middle of Europe with these you know, huge powers surrounding me. So I'm in an interesting game. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.